I'm Jane. Thanks for taking the time and checking this out. I have a couple minutes and I wanted to hop on here because something keeps coming up and I wanted to share my perspective. So, um, we are shifting seasons, going from Pitta to Vata. We just had the, the autumn equinox and just had a new moon in Libra. Like, all these things that are coming up are about balance. And there's this, um, I feel like there are also these seasons, these waves of information or energy that comes in, the collective taps into, and we are like, whoa, heal it, grow it, expand it, amplify it clear it, whatever that it is. And the underlying kind of vibration that I've been tapping into was that of acceptance, which is also super related to judgment. And I wanted to share a couple things about that. So, um, first of all, I used to be so good at judging everything around me because I was brought up like most humans in this patriarchal paradigm, the matrix, the program, that's fear, lack, judgment, and stagnation, the program that says no matter what you see, it's not good enough, and when you look in the mirror, don't worry, you're not good enough either. Um, I was really good at picking myself apart and judging myself so much that I would project it and see it everywhere around me. And I share that because I feel like gives me a little bit of a ground to stand on when I talk about this because um, it's not coming from this I'm just so much better than everybody it comes from a holy shit I've been there so much and I know so many other humans have because it's just the program so this judgment slash acceptance shift that I think so many are collectively kind of feeling right now um, is what I kind of want to talk about for a moment so I feel that there are almost like two different places of awakeness or ascension when we talk about acceptance. There is maybe even three. There's like the acceptance of just like it just is and completely disregarding or detaching from like emotional connection which personally I had to go through that before I could um, go into like full on for real acceptance. I had to go through just being fine with whatever. I was just fine with my body, like it's fine, I accept it. But like, I really wasn't like embracing it. I wasn't loving it. So this acceptance business, um, like when we, so there's like this ability to accept ourselves and when we completely like for reals 110,000 percent accept who we are the I amness and every aspect of the I amness that is we can't not love it it's like love and acceptance are, are they, they're, they're, you, you really cannot have one without the other. Like I can kind of accept and tolerate. I can live in tolerance and that is not acceptance to me. That's a different vibration. It's a different program. It's a different consciousness. So to be like, I want to up level and live in a higher frequency, a higher vibration, um, keep ascending and leveling up and live my highest self's life, I want to live in and feel unconditional love. And that means I get to accept every little thing about me. Like, for real. Like, I get to accept however much I weigh. I get to accept whatever hairs do the thing. I get to accept whatever wrinkles make the moves. I get to accept what moves on my body and the way I move my body. I get to accept when I hurt myself. I get to accept when I hit everybody or hurt everybody else. I don't really hit people. I don't know why I said that. That's funny. <laughs> anyway, but that full on like for real love and acceptance of who I am in every expression from all my timelines past from the hurt little girl that I was, you know, growing up, you know, I won't even share the stories. I'm not on this now. 
but growing up with some, you know, traumatic events, neglect, abuse, whatever, um, and not judging the person that I was and not standing up for myself and then judging the person I was when I was able to grow up strong enough to have armored walls and lash out in shame and guilt and embarrassment um, and express myself in anger and feeling depression on the inside and being so out of balance, not accepting anything about me and therefore not seeing anything that I accepted outside of myself. So, fully accepting that so I feel that you know along with this like white European patriarchal program that's been the Christian way and not saying that Christians are bad not even close not any religion is bad I think that there's this um, lineage of human that um, used their righteousness and their power and their money and greed for money and control and weapons um, to oppress and suppress and grow their own little righteous ways. And that group of humans were pretty much white European Christians. A lot of them were Catholics. Just was. They're the ones that were like, let's kill the medicine women. We'll call them witches. Yeah. Anyway. So because... So I feel like they, they basically like control everything. They control the industrialized military complex. They control the media. They control the education system. They control the chemicals that we call food. And they also have a deep relationship or control whatever with the insurance companies and big pharma. So it's like they just keep making money hand over fist with let's drug and distract the, the, the general population with the media. And while we're doing that, we'll put fear in them so that they drug and distract and drink too much. And let's keep feeding them fear. And even the Hollywood movies, let's, let's get them so that we can keep the beliefs that certain people are a certain way like brown people act like this and white people have this and you know this group of people does this as their culture and all this stuff so that we have a limited perspective and it keeps this reality that they have fed us as truth when in fact so it's not like none of it is anyway so that entity, right, that patriarchal program, the matrix, that judgment that I grew up with, and I know I'm not the only one, that entity also does some crazy shit with like human trafficking, child trafficking, like the whole like, let's take the kids from the border, and we'll put them in little cages and camps. They're taking those children and putting them into the hands of pedophiles. And a lot of these pedophiles are really rich white men. And a lot of these rich white men and their wives, because money knows no gender, we have been feeding that with our dollar bills in the way we have voted. And I don't care how I have ever voted or how anyone's ever voted. We have voted for those people that support it. It doesn't matter if you voted for Clinton, if you voted for Trump, if you voted for Obama or Bush or whatever. They've all been in that in that game all of them have because those people are really like ruled or controlled or highly influenced by the money of like the Rothschilds Google this shit it's craziness and it's all stemmed into our spirituality and our belief system and how we view ourselves so this acceptance thread that keeps coming up and coming into the reality of the collective is holy shit I'm maybe having a hard time accepting who I am having a hard time looking in the mirror, looking in our own eyes, turning off the TV, stop distracting. That may be a really big challenge. And then you have this whole other human group, and they may be the same group, that can't accept others. I can't accept the people that have the Confederate flag. I can't accept the person that has the other flags. I can't accept the person that waves the American flag. I can't, I, I hate the the NRA people. I hate the people that have guns. I hate the people that say we shouldn't have guns. Burka, 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 burka. Ugh. Like I get it. We don't have to like what anyone does in this world. We, we have preferences. We have free will and that is fantastic. But to not see that we're all human in this realm takes out the unconditional love, releases all the acceptance capacity, and we go back into that judgment, which means that we totally reattach to the patriarchal paradigm that we're collectively breaking free from. It's not easy. 
I get it. It's not easy, y'all. But, like, now's the time, and it's always the time is now. So whenever you watch this, this is the perfect time. Now is a really good time to accept you, wherever you are, whatever you've done, look at where you are in this exact now that you're watching this. Take a deep breath in, let that shit go. You have made it this far and now you can make a choice to live with your heart at the helm, to have your third eye open, your pineal gland in the center of your brain, being the director of the show to tell you what intelligence filters in instead of letting some TV bullshit media be the filter of source of information for you. You know better. You know more. Your heart knows more. The child that you were that was full of dreams and hopes and aspirations and play and eagerness and curiosity, imagination, that's the you. It's always been the you. You were beaten down, you were told different, you were told you weren't good enough, smart enough, tall enough, thin enough, fast enough, white enough, dark enough, I don't fucking know. But you've probably been told you weren't something enough. And they, that stays in our program, in our cells, in our belief system, in the thoughts and words and actions in which we live by. But that's not truth, you are enough, we're all enough, we're all more than enough. We have the potential of source energy because that's what we are, we're energy nuggets focused in a human form with a heart with a heart that's made to love we're made to love that's it we're made to love every being on this planet we're made to be stewards of this land we are made to live as creators we are creative we're made to have sex we're made to touch ourselves and to play with each other we're made to get our hands dirty in clay or on the earth itself. And we're made to feel grief. And we're made to feel sorrow and frustration and anger and rage and resentment. We are not made, however, to judge those things. That's the difference. That's the program. We are made to feel natural fears, right? Oh, it's a bear. Oh, run. But we don't pause and stop and say, oh, it's a bear. I'm just going to stand here and be really afraid. I get there's like the flight, fright, fl flight. <laughs> there's freeze. One of them's freeze. When we freeze, we're like, go, right? It's different than being there and being like, yeah, I'm afraid. I'm just going to stare at the bear. <laughs> I'm just so afraid. I'm probably not going to run fast enough because I'm not good enough to run fast enough. And like, we don't do that. We don't add judgment into that. We accept that there's a bear and it's scaring the shit out of us and we do something about it. We do the whole, oh, I'm supposed to wave and scream at a bear or run or whatever it is you're supposed to do when you see a bear. I don't even know. Pull out a gun. Whatever. I don't know. Give it honey. We need the poop. Anyway. My point is that we keep um, having opportunities to release parts of this program and it comes in ebbs and flows for the collective and the magnetosphere the Schumann resonance of the earth is shifting it's going in like super high vibes states it means it's going to activate our nervous system so the things that got on our nerves will be brought to light the things that get on our nerves are parts of the program that aren't aligned with our higher self that's just it it's literally a different program the matrix is not human aligned divine program fear is not in our divine nature lack is not in our divine nature there's always enough there's always plenty there's more than enough to go around lack is bullshit judgment not even real but it's been forced fed to us and we've all taken it in we've eaten it you know oh i have to drink the mountain dew so i can be all energized so i can have fun like the commercial show is a which that shit's crazy y'all don't even drink that that's like that's not even a color of nature nature has beautiful colors that shit's weird anyway i digress <sighs> acceptance has been coming up loud and clear for the past wee bit now and i wanted to share how important it is to fully accept and embrace you where you are in this now moment and every time you go out of this now moment and you go into the past or you go into the future with your thoughts and you go into that space of judgment, like, oh, if I would have done this, I'd be better off now. And if I were better off now, then I could get where I wanted to be, but I can't get there because I suck right now. You don't go anywhere. You're no longer living a creative human life. 
and we're made to be that, again, imaginative, joyful, vibrant child in a human body that has more strength and intelligence and intellect and compassion and, and like power so that we can actually be bigger stewards of this land so we can be the path clears and the way showers for the littles that don't even have the capacity to be in the program of fear, lack, judgment, and stagnation. Don't, so we can't even put them in that box. Like they're just, they're, they're not. Like look at all these super awesome kids that are like, y'all like climate's changing. Can we like do something? Like how about we stop using all the plastic crap? You know, free energy, that's a thing, but let's use combustible energy <laughs> engines because antiquated. It was antiquated when it was first invented. We're powerful beings, y'all. We are made to accept every human. We're made to at least see the one thing that unites us all. We're earthlings. We all have a heart, whether it's being expressed in love or not. It just is. We have this baseline frequency that connects us all. It's love. And we get to remember that in every now moment when we look in the mirror or we see someone that we don't approve of what they're doing to have a conscious awareness enough to say, oh wait, I am judging them, which means I'm, I still have judgment within me. Where am I still judging myself? Is it when I was 10 years old and I did that thing? Am I still judging the me that cheated on that boyfriend when? If so, acknowledge it, look at it, figure it out, feel it. Feel the guilt, feel the shame, feel it. And then let it go and accept who you are now and continue moving forward and seeing the light that we all are. The world is ready for it. The planet is beyond ready for it. We are made to live as a unified tribe of one human. So acceptance has been coming up a lot and I wanted to share it. Acceptance for ourselves and others. It's so funny. Y'all, like, I love quantum physics so much, and, like, that's where I get, like, total nerdy when I talk about, like, the galactic realm and stuff. But when I drop that, like, knowledge down into, like, human, it's so basic. It literally is love, acceptance, compassion, and creativity. It's, like, the most basic human program that we get to root root back into this human experience because the program of fear, lack, judgment, and stagnation is no longer valid. It served its time. It's past its prime. It's out of here. Now what? Got to grow this. So I hope that this was of service. If you feel that this would be inspiring to anybody, share it. Share it. Share the video or just share it through your own translation of it. Whatever that looks like. Leave a comment. Tell me like, yeah, girl, or you crazy. I don't know. Let your freak flag fly. Be accepting. I support that. Um, if there's any support that you would like um, as you ascend and up level and continue to root down these higher vibrational programs into your human vessel as you integrate your higher self and this human experience, holla. It's my specialty. If you want to do like something that has like a big heart opening, I offer cacao ceremonies. They're delicious, they're fantastic, and they attune your heart and they open it up and they heal so well and it's so good. It's chocolate, not just any chocolate. Anyway, I think that's all I was gonna share. I hope that everyone is enjoying there now, finding a balance with acceptance, acknowledging where judgment comes up, dealing with it, processing it, going into it and letting it go. Um, yeah. May all of your nows be fabulous and divine, y'all. <laughs> and um, I'll hop on here on another now. Take care and have a good day. Bye.